So, what is marriage all about? What is marriage? My definition of marriage is that it's the union of two people of the opposite sex who have pledged to love one another unconditionally and to live together forever with God as their witness. I'm talking about marriages that are not between James and John, not between Tola and Lola, not between Ngozi and uh, Nkechi, and not between Mohammed and Musa. No, God is not interested in those kind of marriages. He says so in clear terms in his book. But I'd like to also uh, read the, uh, di the dictionary definition of marriage. So my second definition, which is the dictionary one, says, according to Oxford Dictionary, and I read, marriage is defined as the legally or form formally recognized union of two people as partners in a personal relationship historically and in some jurisdictions specifically a union between a man and a woman then i would like to give you the biblical uh, background of marriage god is the author of marriage in fact i like to call him the cias of marriage and i'll explain my C stands for the convener, the I stands for initiator, and the o, uh, A stands for author, and the F stands for founder of the marriage institution. And as you all know, in Genesis 2.18, God said, it's not good for a man to be alone. I'll make him a helper comparable to him. And Genesis 1.9, uh, nine, uh, chapter, chapter 9 verse 1 also says so God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth the word comparable means of equivalent quality worth that's worthy of comparison equivalent quality worthy of comparison remember that take note of it and from these two scriptures it's evident that marriage is divinely orchestrated by god it's not a man-made arrangement and neither will it ever be we saw that adam was alone and there was none that was comparable to him there were the animals that adam had already named but where's a human being that he can relate with? So God had to cause Adam to sleep and he took the woman out of his ribs. He, he called her woman. I recently heard a man of God decipher woman to mean what men are not. Woman, what men are not. W-O-M-A-N. As with everything that God made, when properly executed according to God's will, marriage is good. Marriage is beautiful and it's meant to be enjoyed. Finally, God's will for marriage, I'd like to liken it to matriculation without convocation. There's a start and without death, there's no finish. You're supposed to carry on and continue to be married. So it's not like you register in a school or in university and then you graduate. No, there's no graduation. There's no convocation. 